I'm getting ready to see if I can convince you guys on how I'm thinking about my true feelings about the Dollar Tree going up. I'm going to stop saying what y'all saying. This is what I'm going to say. Up in price, 25%. Y'all just let that sink in a little bit, okay? That store right there. Yeah. Under there. That store right there. 25% more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now that we thought about that, I'm getting ready to flash a few statistics right here. Yeah, we're going to focus in on that. I'm going to flash another statistic right here. And I'm going to tell y'all, that's some ish that the Dollar Tree is trying to pander. And to me, they're taking advantage of the current climate that this country is in by saying we need to go up 25 percent now they're gonna give you all kinds of excuses but the main reason shareholders need more money and lord knows that salary i just showed y'all from the ceo of this company <laughs> baby but i'm willing to bet the cashier in this store is not even making a living wage. I might even be willing to bet that the manager in this store might not be making a willing a, a living wage. Okay. But while my Dollar Trees are still a buck, I'm going to go in here and get some organization um, items that I saw a week ago. I should have picked them up, but a little acrylic pieces. Uh, we redoing, you know, redid the kitchen. And my junk drawer, I don't want it to be just full of junk. I just want to have just a few rubber bands in it a few staples and those little acrylic things will keep me organized i hope they still have them in here but that's what i'm going in here for what i've been doing since my dollar trees have not gone up in price everything is still a dollar i've been stocking up on things that i don't mind paying a dollar for but in this store right here let's go back yeah that store right there ain't nothing in this store right here worth more than a dollar in my opinion even stuff that they just kind of luck up on that costs more than a dollar in other places because all the other stuff that we've been buying that you know that you buy for pennies on the dollar yeah but let me get myself in here y'all just want y'all to think about that stop saying it's only 25 cents start saying it's 25 percent okay look what that is y'all five years ago and look what i'm doing Hauling from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, we getting ready to haul this stuff. I came in to show y'all this really quick. Hold on a second. That's me hauling from the Dollar Tree five years ago, y'all. Five years ago. So I know from whence I speak, I've been doing this a long time. Jersey, for some reason, decides to cry. Say hey, Jersey. <laughs> She's trying to get down. She always under me, y'all. Right when I started to record this video, and I apologize for that, but we're just going to keep on going because I'm losing daylight, okay? All right. I was trying to get it organized so I could show y'all everything. That's another thing that I do. I do show everything, like the boring stuff. So let's just get it out of the way, especially since it might be my last Dollar Tree haul, right? Mm, mm, mm. Lord, first the fat boys break up, now this. All right, y'all. I picked up some Sure Fresh sandwich bags these are definitely worth a dollar picking up aluminum foil for a dollar might not be the most economical thing but it is convenient so i picked up aluminum foil now with this going up to a dollar 25 i don't think i would buy this for a dollar 25 because actually i can go to costco sam's club or bj's and get it for a lot cheaper so yeah buy a dollar tree frugal Lisa won't be going there and get any of this okay these y'all see me haul these before the big old jumbo size sure fresh bag and today was supposed to be all about organization now you cannot beat the dollar tree for their organization things right i found these uh three of these that's going to be nice to organize a junk drawer with i went in there looking for these though the essentials organizers the little acrylic i like these better but i was only able to find one of those i will hunt you know for a few more of these for a buck 
Let's stick with acrylic items. Look at these. Y'all remember when everybody was hauling the little candy jars? So I found the smaller one. I have the big version of this that I store my K-cups in. And what I was thinking, since you know I won't be going back in there as much, I'm going to take this and put some sugar packets in and um, sweet and low and all of that. So when I have guests, if we ever have guests again, I'll be able to take this out or put it out on my little coffee bar. But that's cute, right? Can't beat that little acrylic item. I was looking for these, the little scallop edge, a uh, little container. What are they calling this? Yeah, a scallop container. I picked up two of those. But back in the day when I used to entertain, I could definitely make good use of this. And for a dollar, yeah. And see, that's the thing, y'all. You always say it's only a dollar, but I cannot find myself saying it's only a dollar 25 cents. Yeah. Now, this I might pay a dollar 25 for. Look at this. It's a glass bowl. I know y'all seen these in Dollar Trees before. And when I set a really pretty table for the holidays, y'all, I thought about using this for my cranberry sauce. Yeah. So I think that would be worth a dollar twenty-five cents, but I have nine for a dollar. Yay. More organization items. Look at these, y'all. These are in packs of three. Now I don't really like the color of this. I kind of like the clear acrylic better, but I just picked up these three for a dollar. Not bad. Uh, I don't think I would pay three for dollar twenty-five for these, but they look like this, y'all. I took this one. I opened this little pack. So they're that size. I'll make good use of that. Some kind of storage and all of the stuff I got going on in my kitchen. I thought I would get another salt and pepper shaker. Cooking essentials. I needed another little turkey baster. Just to have one extra one for a buck. And then y'all, I did not have the meat chopper. go, But I found this one in the Dollar Tree. You know, for spaghetti and stuff like that. Chopping up your meat. Not bad for a buck. I picked up a little butter dish for a dollar. I have one now. I thought I would use this one for, you know, just an extra one. Can't beat that. And I picked up these little acrylic pieces, y'all. This is a 12 count little bowl. Again, with entertaining, I would always make good use of these. And then I picked up two of these, y'all. They are four for a dollar. I have a whole bunch of screws left over from my Ikea kitchen. So I'm gonna take all of the screws and use this to house them in. And that's going to be nice and neat just in case we have to, you know, use another screw. Yep. I know I wouldn't pay $1.25 for this, but picked it up for a dollar. I love the storage containers, y'all. This is the bonus three-pack from Betty Crocker. Um, yeah, $1.25, no. But I just picked that one up. I picked up a little brush. I also picked up these. I've been stocking up on these. So I just been, every time I've been in there, I just pick up one. I love using this on my cookware. There are four in here. Sometimes you can find them five in a pack, but this is a four pack. And I think that's it, y'all, for kitchen and organization, okay? I also picked up these. I've been uh, going ham on the little uh, Band-Aids. And y'all, these are the 10 count, but they're the great big ones. I like getting these. So I have enough of these now for a dollar. Y'all know I love the Ultra Bright. I picked up two more of those. Another Dollar Tree staple are the little placards. This time I was in there, and I think I picked up five of them just to have a stash of them. No, I picked up six. I like putting these in the cars. Both girls like having them in their bedroom. I like putting them in the bathroom, so I have a stash of these. And little beauty products. Y'all, I had this in my hair a second ago. These are little salon clips, and I think these are a green brow product also. They are. This one's in gold. And just to pin your hair back, there are two clips. There's another one somewhere. I took it out of the package because I wanted to see if it would fit on my hair, and it did. Uh, so just a little clip. There are two of them, but just say if I wanted to clip this back. Yeah. Y'all see? Yeah, that's cute. All right. Yep, or if I wanted to, you know, take it all the way back and do something like that using two clips. Yeah, so that's not bad for a buck. I don't know if I would spend $1.25 for it. I probably would go to the uh, beauty supply store and pick up these, but cute little clip. And then I picked up this claw clip in gold. I just thought those golds were so pretty. And then look at this one, a little uh, infinity circle. 
Yeah, and things like this. I had this in my hair when I was in the Dollar Tree and I took it out when I got in the car. But this came from the Dollar Tree, this little pearl one, y'all. That came from the Dollar Tree years and years ago. But stuff like this, I will miss going in and pick that up. Just a set of four bobby pins, decorative bobby pins, same concept. And because I had never seen these before, y'all, I just picked up all of the different varieties because I'm a house full of, you know, females. Somebody will use it. I picked up two of these. They're cute. They almost look like an ivory. And I didn't think that was bad for a dollar. But that's where Dollar Tree would get me, y'all. As you can see, I go ham on stuff like this. It's not a need, but I'm just saying to myself, I have three girls. Let's just kind of double up on clips. Somebody will use it. They had a gold one that looked like this. And then look at this one, this little tortoiseshell one. That's really pretty, y'all. So cute. And for a buck, look at that. Little rainbow with the uh, rhinestones. That is pretty. And for a buck, y'all. And then I picked up these two big ones. I picked up that one, the black, the tortoiseshell looking one, the thick one, and then I picked up this one, the thin one. Yeah. So that's where Dollar Tree will miss my dollar, those impulse items. When I see this stuff like this, I go ham on it because of me and my girls. Y'all know I've been hauling. Look at this. What am I hauling here? Some Snyder's pretzels. Look how big those bags are. Now the Snyder pretzels that the Dollar Tree has like that yeah those were the good old days y'all the good old days let's see what else i haul y'all hold on a minute oh i buy so much junk those kind of tortillas the popcorners bags have shrunk look at that three bags of popcorners y'all i love me some junk Okay, I'm getting ready to end that video. So let's hurry up and end this video with junk. Moon pies, a buck, yes. Gummy bears, a buck, yes. Movie night, oh, they're gonna miss us on movie night, Dollar Tree. Sour Patch Kids, a buck, yes. Trolleys, I'm gonna miss these. Oh, these are so good too. I opened this one in the car. This is a new one, Fruit Punch. Yep, my girl Sharon turned me on to these. Hey, boss lady. Yeah, movie night will never be the same. And then, like real food, these crackers, Greta crackers, that's going to be good. They're in the olive and oregano. Yeah. Love picking up kind of real food like that for a buck. And then some cheese doodles. I pick these up for the summertime. When we're eating water ice and stuff, I like these. So I just pick these up so I can have kind of a stash to start the summer with thinking about the summer and then look at these i love the pepsi products i have rediscovered pepsi it's been so long since i've had a dark soda and i rediscovered drinking these and guess what i loaded up on these for a dollar i think i have four of them y'all yeah hold on oops yeah four of them yep and these look nice in the little mini fridge in the kitchen now so I just kind of bought these for aesthetic reasons. I don't drink a lot of sodas, but sometimes like on Friday nights when we order pizza, I want a soda with a pizza. Uh, so I haven't gotten back to the habit of being craving sodas, but every once in a while I've been drinking Pepsi and I haven't really wanted a Coke. So I kind of go either or for pizza night. It's either a ginger ale or something like this. Yeah, I just love a soda when I'm eating a pizza. All right, guys, that is it. The video is off. Is this the Frugal Nisa last Dollar Tree haul? I don't know. From the looks of it, my Dollar Tree has not put in all of the glitz and glam that y'all keep telling me about. So I'll keep watching y'all videos. And if I see something I like, I'll go back in there and, you know, make the assessment if I will be spending $1.25 for it. Now, let me know in the comment section, seriously, how do you guys feel about this $1.25? Or... 25% markup in the Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm. Frugal Nista sees y'all Dollar Tree. I see y'all. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video real soon. Bye, guys. Jazz hands.